Hi, welcome to my first video of 2020. My name is Lay. Today I'm going to be doing um, a poly gel set with some designs and fun fact, I have a new intro, so cue that. Okay, so 2020 we are on something different. I am really trying out different techniques and ways to do my videos. I'm going to be doing less voiceovers and, you know, more talk throughs. But for nails, I have to do voiceover because it would take entirely too long to try to talk through all of this. So, um, my nails are fresh off of having like gel polish on it. That's why you saw like that dark color on my pinky. So I have a video where I did my poly gel uh, already on here. I did it for Halloween. So a lot of tips and tricks are on there. I'm still trying to get the hang of where to place my camera. So yeah, we're just going to move on from that. So I've already picked out which um, duo forms I know, duo forms that I need. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. And I'm going to go ahead and add my cuticle, it's like a cuticle dissolver by Sally Hansen. It's amazing. It really takes off all that dead skin and cuticles. And I'm going to be using this poly gel by McCart. Um, I know they have lots of different uh, poly gels around, but uh, the one by McCart is actually my favorite. Uh, it's inexpensive. It works really well. The set that you ha you see that I did to on this video, I actually had them on for a good three weeks, and no cracks. They don't tug on my nails, and my nails are actually in pretty good condition when I take them off. Of course, there's a little wear and tear because you do have something on your natural nail, but overall, I really think that these work better than like when I would go to the nail salon and get acrylics. They look like acrylics, but they're gel and. I don't know, I just like them a lot better. So right here I'm just cleaning off my brush because I do use poly gel a lot. I've been doing my own nails for about a year now, maybe a year and a half already, and I think I've gotten the hang of it. Right here, like I'm just letting you guys know right now, I am still working on my, uh, you know, like where to place my camera. My fill video actually has much, you like you can see a lot more. So anyways, uh, if you want to see it better, then just wait for my next nail video. But I'm just going to talk through what I'm doing right here. So I'm taking the duo forms that I've chosen and I'm going to go ahead and fill them with my McCart Poly Gel in the shade Natural Pink. Even though I am putting a nail polish over this, I was like aware that I wanted to wear this shade on its own at some point. That's the great thing about the nail gels that the poly gels that have color to them because you can literally like place it on your finger, file it down and then out the door, right? So right here I'm just pushing the product down and you want to make sure that you turn it over so that you can see if it's fully you know covered so that when you put it on your nail it's fully covered closer to the nail bed I like to make it a little thinner um, once you place it on your nail it is going to thin out a little bit and it's going to push more towards the front since I am going to cut them down I don't go all the way to the front and I also know that once I place it on my nail it will push forward it's been about a minute or so probably about five minutes because I did do that nail and now my um, the nail the cuticle dissolver is has softened up my cuticles so I'm taking this cuticle pusher which I should probably use one that's a little less abrasive because this metal one is kind of harsh but I'm literally like scraping my cuticles away and it's so satisfying because I'm one of those people I cannot cut my cuticles but my cuticles grow out so bad and it looks so ugly so I have to make sure that I you know att attend to them you know and um, just pushing them back doesn't always work for me so I also have this little like I don't know what this is called but it's like a cuticle scraper I'm not sure what it's for but I know that like when I was growing up my mom used to use this to cut her cuticles and this is the only way that I can cut my cuticles cuticles I can't use the cuticle nippers they just don't work for me so in order to <laughs> be successful with this you need a UV or LED light this is a UV and LED light so it's essential for this process 
So I have a bunch of different type of nail bases here. So this is the McCart brand. I have the top coat and the base. And I have this one by Lavender, which I got off of Amazon. It's also a top and base coat. But today I'm going to be using the brand Emily. It's actually my favorite. Um, the base and the top coat, both of them work really well. And their polishes are great as well. So now I'm going to dehydrate and rough up my nails a little bit. I'm taking pure acetone, 100% pure acetone, which I got from Walmart. And I'm going to, you know, just lightly, like I'm not doing this hard, even though it looks like I am. And I'm taking a little bit of alcohol and acetone and I'm drying out my nails and you know disinfecting them, making them so that they're ready for what I'm about to put on them. I do need to give them like a break from anything but I hate my hands without nails. So now, I don't know if you can tell, it's starting to dry like all of that liquid look like the hydration is gone and that's what you want so right here I'm taking a little bit of this nail primer this is actually a dip powder nail primer but I feel like a primer is a primer all it does is dehydrate your nails then I'm taking the base coat and I'm coating my natural nail make sure that you go all the way to the tip this will make sure that there aren't any gaps when you place the poly gel on so just make sure that you're not neglecting the free edge. So after I place the base on and I've gotten my free edge and I make sure that I don't get it too far into the cuticles otherwise you will have lifting, I'm going to go ahead and um, cure it for 30 seconds. So once it's been cured, it's now ready for the actual poly gel. So I like to do my um, duo forms before I'm ready to place them on my fingers just so they have time to settle. I like to start by going through the nail bed. I like to place the duo form like right up against the nail bed and then push the poly gel down on the nail. I do this very slowly and as you can see it ends up doing like this little lump at the bottom. So then I just smooth that out with some alcohol and then I'm ready to cure it. I like to look at both sides before I do that just to make sure that I'm not you know missing any spots because if you get air bubbles in this it's not like gel polish or anything like that like as long as it's not like around the perimeter like the corners then you're, you should be fine because you don't want water getting under there so all you have to do is squeeze the duo form and pop it off and if you look at it from this angle it's pretty much done I mean this is like shenane length for me but it's pretty much done even though like if you look at the nail I can kind of see through it so what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit more of the poly gel towards the base of my nail like like towards the free edge so I'm pressing that up against it so that it will adhere to my actual nail that's why we put that base coat there and then I'm gonna bring it out that way when I turn it over it's no longer like kind of sheer it's more like an, an opaque um, color and then once I have that smoothed out, I can go ahead and cure it for another 60 seconds. So this is what it looks like when I'm done. As you can see, you can't see through it. It's nice, it's sturdy, it's already you know curved. All I have to do is shape up the edges, buff it a little bit, and get the corners. And cut down, of course. I'm sorry, I cannot rock it this long. I want to, but yeah, not for me. So this is what the nail is looking like. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same to the rest of my nails and I'll be right back. Now both of my hands are done. I did one hand off camera where I went ahead and shaped it and cut it down. So now I'm going to show you how I do that on my opposite hand. So I have this Kiss like nail cutter. 
I got it from Walmart. It was really inexpensive, but it pretty much puts the entire nail in there and <laughs> cuts it off. And as you can see, these nails are pretty sturdy because I really had to use some strength to cut it. So I like to hold them next to each other so that I can kind of get a gist for, you know, like the size and the length. I want them to be somewhat even, you know, sister not twins, right? Um, I know me personally, I can't get it perfect. And this is Callie grabbing my stuff when I'm looking for it. So now I'm just shaping my nails using my um, buffer. Callie wanted to show you guys her nails. Say hi. Hi baby hands. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shape these nails. I'm kinda going for like a coffin shape, but not 100% coffin. I do kinda want it to have more of like a uh, like tapered square shape. And now I'm going in with my electric drill and or my e-file, I guess that's what they call it. And I'm going to smooth out the top. I'm gonna to use it to get the corners, all the parts that actually got on my skin or are lifted, excuse me, or are not 100% you know, smooth. You do get a little bit of that. And this is also for the polish that I'm going to place on the nails. You do still want it to be kind of roughed up so that it can adhere to the surface. So just doing that with all of my nails, once I'm done, I like to compare and see if the shapes are similar. You want them to be as close to identical as possible. They're nice and sturdy. As you can see, there's, you know, I guess it's like that bottle nose thing going on. So it's like perfect. So once I'm done shaping, I'm actually going in with regular polish. Um, these are, one is by, I'm, actually they're both by Sally Hansen. You know, I did not realize that. Um, so the colors that I'm using, they're both by Sally Hansen. The first one, this is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme. This is in the shade Camelot and it's camel ot. I don't know, I just thought that was cute. So it's a really nice nude shade. And then this is the um, gel manicure nail polish by Sally Hansen, and this is in the shade Birthday Suit. It's supposed to be like the gel, like LED, but you know, whatever. And then this is the glitter that I used. It's called Disco. This is the um, Hard as Nail Extreme, but it just has glitter. And this is in the shade, like I said before, Disco. So I'm going to be using these nail polishes. Now what I also did was I pulled out a couple of my gems and stones, and um, I do some nail stamping on here, and this is, I got all of these uh, tools from Amazon. So I'm choosing which nails I want to have the nude shade. I went for my thumb, index, and my pinky finger, and those are going to have the Camelot shade, which is a, this really pretty nude. It's actually probably one of my favorite nude shades. So I'm placing that on my thumb, index, and pinky, and then I'm going to have birthday suit on my uh, ring finger and my middle finger. So I'm just taking my time with this. Uh, the key to doing this and being able to coat it with a gel polish because I do um, top coat it with a gel polish is to let it dry all the way. I know it sucks, but you have to let it dry completely and then add your gel polish. Now these gel, um, I guess they're like, they're the Sally Hansen gel nail polishes but it's not actually gel, it's supposed to be like no LED light. It's just regular polish that's shiny. Um, the brush on it sucks, so it got all in my cuticles. So I'm just taking a brush with some um, rubbing alcohol and cleaning that up. So I do that a lot when I want my manicures to look very like, you know, as if I went to the salon. So if it gets into your cuticle area, all you have to do is take a little bit of acetone, nail polish remover, or alcohol, and just clean it up while it's still wet. So I'm taking my stamping tool and I'm going in with, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like gloves with like little stones and it just looks like super wintry. And I'm taking my white stamping polish. This is actually, it, it's marketed as a stamping polish. I don't know if it makes a difference between using this and regular like white polish, but it's stamping polish. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off, stamp it down, and then I'm going to place it on my ring finger. The only thing about this, and I wanted to use white and not black, is putting the white against the nude. It's really hard to see, but since I did it on one finger, I had to do it on the other. So you pretty much couldn't really see it unless you were like all up on my nail. So I did do it to the other just so that they can look similar, if not the same. 
and I really liked it just because when I did my nails around this time it was close to Christmas so I really wanted you know festive nails but I didn't want to do the typical red so for my glitter I'm taking a makeup sponge this is one of those disposable sponges the ones that you don't reuse and I'm painting disco on there the reason for this is so that the sponge can absorb the clear and the glitter will be left on the outside and I'm doing a generous amount of that on there and then I'm going on my middle finger and I'm pressing it onto my nail. So at this point, now this nail is covered with a disco-like <laughs> glitter. So instead of it being like clear, you know, it's, it's birthday suit plus glitter. And it's really pretty. I actually think I should have done the other nail like that, but what are you gonna do? So now I'm going to add my stones, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and paint over the nails that I'm going to add the stones to. And I'm using that as my adhesive because once you cure it, trust me, those things are not going to go anywhere. And when I did my fill, like you'll see that those bad boys were on there. So I'm taking my stones and I'm placing, like I think I did a pearl and two diamonds on my um, index finger. And then on my middle finger and all those little spots where the, um, because you know it was like gloves with like little stars, wherever the stars were I placed a diamond on top of the star. So that just gave it, you know, just a little zhuzh, a little something extra. You have to, girl, let me tell you, you take a long time to get these stones on because you want to be precise and you have to just take your time. Don't worry about smudging anything because, again, you don't place it on your nail until it's completely dry. So once I am done with that, I'm going to, after it's been cured, because at this point it's been cured, I just didn't want to keep, you know, showing me curing my nails. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges with a little bit of acetone and then I'm taking, um, my cuticle oil this is a vitamin E oil by Sally Hansen and I'm just placing that in the cuticle area and you're done with your manicure so I really hope you all enjoyed my first video of 2020 please make sure to like share my videos subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me and yeah come back next time till next time beauties stay blessed